All right, in this video, I'm going to explain how you set up an engine guard EG01-3 to do low oil pressure warning. Now this system has got the single temperature sensor on input one, and then it's got input two, marked as sensor two, it connects to a voltage interface that enable, enables it to read voltage. The way that a, that a normal vehicle low oil pressure warning system works is you have a switch on the engine and that switch is a normally closed switch. In other words, when there's no oil pressure, the switch will be closed and it will then illuminate the light on the dashboard. It closes the circuit, turns the light on on the dashboard. So the engine guard is reading the line voltage between the switch and the globe. It's going to be doing that using this long yellow and black cable. Okay, so I'm going to show you firstly how to connect up sensor one. We're going to use the factory connectors. By all means, use solder and heat shrink if you want. To connect up sensor one, you slide one black cable and one white cable into the connector and you crimp with a pair of pliers and that connects the wires together. Repeat again for the second. There is a trace on the sensor cable but just ignore that completely. There is no polarity on the temperature sensors. So I'm going to crimp in my connector and that's now connected. So input one is completed now. Now, to connect up the voltage interface, there is a polarity on the cable and this actually matters. So again, repeat the same process. So we're gonna use one yellow with black and one yellow with black. And we're gonna crimp the wire in, like so. And the little guillotine inside joins the two wires together. Now we're gonna repeat the same again. So we're connecting yellow to yellow. and squeeze in the plunger firmly. Okay, so as you can see on the display unit now, it's actually reading 32 degrees, which is the temperature at the moment that the sensor is uh, measuring. Out of the box, we send out all of these display units, the EJ1-3, so that it's actually reading voltage on input two. And the reason we do that is it allows the customer to do the installation and then do a test to make sure that it's reading voltage correctly. So with the engine um, off, so ignition on, engine off, the light on the dashboard should be illuminated, the low or pressure warning light. That means it's a closed circuit. That means it should be reading approximately zero volts. So at the moment, if I press next, it'll be reading zero. Now, if I'm if I have my engine running on the vehicle, the light will be off, and therefore the line should be reading line voltage. So in this case, it should be reading something along the lines of 12 volts. So in this case, 11.5 volts. Now, once you've checked this, you then have to change the setting on the engine guard. So I'll now show you how to do that and we'll trigger the alarm. So you have to go back into temperature one, and press the set button for 10 seconds. Don't take your finger off, you've got to hold it for at least 10 seconds and then you'll see the display will flash up with set. At which point you can take your finger off the button. Take my finger off, P1. So INL means it's measuring, measuring voltage. So I press the set button. As soon as you see the dots start flashing, you can change the setting. Press previous, it'll say hi. Press previous again, it will say oil. Now. Press set to store that in the memory. To exit parameter mode, press previous. It says end, press set, it will reboot. Now all things being equal, if your engine is running, you should have oil pressure and the engine guard should read PRE for pressure and it does. Now I'm gonna simulate an engine that's lost oil pressure. So I'm gonna take the power off. Within a fairly short period of time, as you can see, it triggers the alarm. So that's telling you that you have no oil pressure. 